Have you ever been excited to get into a match of your favorite FPS game? Yes. Time for action. Only to have this happen? Oh, come on. So then you gotta reach all the way under your desk to unplug your joysticks from your hub or your PC? Then the next day you boot up Star Citizen and play planes, trains, and automobiles to get to your hangar just to find out your sticks are disconnected? Oh, come on. Well, I found a very nice, very simple piece of software that can hide devices you specify from programs you specify. Let's get into it. I'm gonna show you how to install and set up HID Hide and we're starting right now. Obviously, step one is gonna be downloading HID Hide. I have the link in the description down below to its GitHub page. Under releases on the right panel, click on the latest version. At the bottom of this release page, you can download the executable file. Continue with the installation progress, it's very simple. Once you've installed, restart your PC. Once it's back up and ready to go, go ahead and run HID Hide. Let's go over the Applications tab first. This is where you tell HID Hide what programs are allowed to see your joysticks or other devices. There are a few pieces of software that you will need to add here. HID Hide is one of them. It should be here by default, but if it's not, you're going to want to add it. Next, you'll need to add your joysticks configuration software, for example, VKB Dev for VKB products or Verpal software. To add them, click the plus sign and locate the executable file within your Windows Explorer. Now, there are a couple of ways that you can use HID Hide to fix common issues people have in Star Citizen. First, you can whitelist all of the games that you want to be able to see your joysticks, like we've done with these apps so far. This is great if the only devices you have connected are your joysticks and you want to hide them from everything but Star Citizen and a select few games. Or second, let's say you want to reduce the devices Star Citizen sees to just your two joysticks because you're tired of playing PP Resource Devices Roulette every time Star Citizen drops a new patch. This is great if you have extra physical and or virtual devices that you want to hide from Star Citizen. Let's cover the first one allowing only certain games and apps to see your devices. First, you want to add Star Citizen. It's located in the following directory. Then you'll want to do the same for any other games you use your joysticks on. Now, head over to the Devices tab. You want to make sure that the devices you see are here and unchecked. If you are missing one, you may want to restart your computer. Below this, you have the ability to filter out disconnected devices, show gaming devices only, and toggle on and off device hiding. If you're just trying to hide your sticks from other games, that's it, you're done. If you're trying to hide extra devices from Star Citizen, head back to the Applications tab and make sure Star Citizen is not listed. If so, just go ahead and remove it. Now, head back to the Devices tab and before we get started here, to visually see what's going on, you want to open up Windows Game Controllers. The easiest way to do this is to tap your Windows button, search for USB Game Controller, and open the program. Now, simply click on the checkbox next to the devices you want to hide from Star Citizen. For me, that's these two VJoy devices, as well as an Xbox Elite gamepad. As you can see, they disappear from Windows as well. What's nice about this is you don't have to unplug and replug your devices anymore, adding wear and tear to those USB connections. You can just use HID Hide to disconnect or reconnect them. This video is a prerequisite for an upcoming video I'm making about Joystick Gremlin. Pairing HID Hide with VJoy and Joystick Gremlin means most users can actually avoid having to ever use that pesky PP resort devices again. So make sure you're subscribed and have the bell clicked so you don't miss out. If you're watching this after the release of that video, it will be linked in the pinned comment below. 
If this video was helpful to you, drop a like and a comment to share your feedback. If it was really helpful to you, consider joining the sub club. There are plenty of ways to do it. Just visit subliminal.gg support to find out more. Until next time, citizens, I'll see you in the verse.